This is the second video on my latest project creating LED traffic lights for an outdoor model railway. In my previous video I went through the details of how I designed the traffic lights in FreeCAD. In this video I'm going to show how I wired them using a Raspberry Pi Pico and how I configured the light sequence using MicroPython. The traffic lights are created for a G-scale outdoor model railway. They're based on a UK design and operating sequence. One of the good things about using a microcontroller, such as the Raspberry Pi Pico, is that it's going to be easier if you want to change the light sequence for a different country or even completely different type of lights, such as train control lights or level crossing lights. The Raspberry Pi Pico is a great, small, inexpensive microcontroller, which is well suited to controlling the model railway traffic lights. This is one solution I'm looking at, but I'm also working on another using my own custom PCB design using an AT Mega 328P. If you just want a plug and play solution, then this version will work well. But if you're interested in learning more about electronics and creating your own microcontroller PCB, then you may want to subscribe to my channel to see the videos when I create those. I'll also be adding more videos on my outdoor G-scale and indoor double O railways in future, so you may want to subscribe for those as well. The electronics for this are fairly simple. The LEDs are 8mm LEDs. I've wired these as a common cathode, so all the negative terminals for all the LEDs in one unit are wired together and then a single wire to the anode of each LED. I used 6 core burger alarm wire with the outside coating removed as this provided for thin wires which could be run through the stem of the traffic light. The wire is stranded but I wanted to connect these to a breadboard so I used crimp terminals to one end of the wires so they could be plugged into the breadboard easier. The voltage drop of the LEDs differs between the different coloured LEDs. The green has a slightly higher voltage drop than the others, but also they need different currents to achieve the same brightness. I'm not running the LEDs at full brightness as that would be excessive, instead aiming for about 9 milliamps per LED. I originally worked out the resistors based on a 5 volt power supply for the Arduino. I calculated the values for the resistors but then I swapped them in for different resistors so that I could get the LEDs to give a reasonable brightness. Based on that, I used a 220 ohm resistor for the red and amber LEDs and a 330 ohm resistor for the green LEDs. In the case of the Pico, which runs at only 3.3 volts, I used 120 ohm resistors for each of the LEDs. These resistors were put in series with the LEDs and then connected to the appropriate GPIO ports on the Raspberry Pi Pico. I chose to use the GPIO ports on one side of the Raspberry Pi Pico which made it easier to wire those up using a breadboard. The pin layouts are shown in the diagram based on three traffic lights with a red, amber and green LED for each traffic light. I've colour coded the wires on the breadboard and up to the LED to make it easier. This is the code that makes it work. It's created in MicroPython, similar to normal Python, but the hardware is controlled through the machine module which is optimised for controlling the microcontroller hardware. It started by defining all the pins for the traffic lights and these use the pin from the machine module. Uh, create some variables and set up the traffic lights to an initial state. And then these functions are used to set the different traffic lights. Setting the value to 1 sets it on and to 0 sets it off. And these are numbered that 0 is red, 1 is amber and 2 is green. And this is a particular sequence for the UK traffic lights where red and amber are used as a get ready state before it changes to green, then to amber, and then to red. And then it's really just a case of running this while loop. And in this, it determines which is going to be the active light, and it you, takes that one through the sequence, and the rest are set to the left in the stop position, which is how they start initially. The good thing about this is that being based around a microcontroller that these sequences are purely defined in the code. So if you want a different sequence you can just change this code. For example, whereas 
I said before the UK uses the red and amber to indicate it's a get ready state that's not so common in other countries so you might want to just change that to zero and that's more in common with other countries similarly you could change this for different light sequences such as trackside lights controlling the trains or even flashing level crossings lights and all that could be achieved just by change the code and then saving that onto the Pico and then you can just press play to run it. You'll notice that this is called main.py uh, by calling the script main.py means that that will get loaded automatically every time the Pico is powered on so you don't have to connect to it and set it run. In this video I've shown how the traffic lights have been controlled using Raspberry Pi Pico microcontroller. In my future videos I'll show you how you can create your own custom printed circuit board based around the AT Mega 328P which is a microcontroller that powers the Arduino Uno. I'll also be looking at how I can use this to synchronize with the automation I've got on my outdoor model railway so we can use these for train control lights and having those signals change automatically based on the signals from a Raspberry Pi. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you on a future video.